What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's another day in the January transfer. No, let's get this show started. Welcome to the January transfer window. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano is on the, your screen, ladies and gentlemen, and he's going to be giving you guys a quick little update on what's going on with Takahiro Tomiyasu. And of course, we're going to get into some more of the Arsenal January transfer news. Before we get started on the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know, do you think Arsenal, who do you think Arsenal will sign in the January transfer window? Today, we're linked to a striker uh, from Leverkusen, uh, Victor uh, Bonafé, and we're also speaking about um, a little bit about Thomas Partey, Takir Tamiyasu, and even a crazy rumor about Kylian Mbappe. Obviously, Arsenal are not going to sign Kylian Mbappe, but we're going to keep getting linked to him. So let's get let's continue with the goddamn video as Fabrizio Romano has an update on Takir Tamiyasu, and we got to see what that update is because it could be but some important news. It could be some important news about Takir Tamiyasu. Let's see what he has to say. And there we go final stages to sign a new contract very soon. So Tomiyasu is staying. He's not going to Milan, to Roma, to Napoli. Many rumors about a potential deal for Tomiyasu. No, Tomiyasu is part of Arsenal project and the idea is to extend his contract. So proceeding in that way for Tomiyasu and Arsenal, big optimist for Tomiyasu and also for Ben White, who could be the next one to sign. So there you go. Update from Fabrizio Romano is the talk here. Tom Yasu will be staying at Arsenal. Rumor, rumor, were, rumors were flying around the other day that Takahiro Tamiyasu is looking at, at his options elsewhere. That is not true. He will not be going anywhere. And as for now, Arsenal are in advanced stages with negotiations with Takahiro Tamiyasu over a new contract. His salary will be raised and it will be getting closer and closer to a new deal for Takahiro Tamiyasu. He will not be leaving Arsenal in January specifically, but he could, uh, but he might be leaving for the Asian Cup, which is going to be happening very soon. So Arsenal don't play many games in January, so hopefully we can have him back without missing without him missing too many games. But yeah, good news on TikTok to hear Tamiyasu part, and that is a big update for Arsenal from there. So that is one of the major updates on the day. Great news uh, that Takahiro Tamiyasu will be staying at Arsenal. I am not too concerned that we're we're, go we're going to lose him in the first place, and now it's just confirmed that he'll be staying. And let me know, what do you guys think of Takir Tamiyasu's season so far this season? I thought he's had a really good season so far for Arsenal, and I thought he was one of our better players this season. But the next question I have for you guys is, who will Arsenal sign this January? Who will Arsenal sign? What position do you guys think will, will make a signing? Would uh, And who would you sell? Which players would you like Arsenal to sell in January? That is also another question that needs to be asked. Which players could we be seeing the end of or the back of uh, this 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 coming month? Those are the questions that we need to be asking as Arsenal have been linked to be potentially letting uh, Eddie Nketiah go. Um, uh, we even heard rumors of Emil Smith-Rowe. Uh, uh, of course, Ramsdale, because he's not starting. There's just so many rumors flying about. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with uh with those of course but we do need our best players backfiring we do need to be back winning games kevin de bruyne is back apparently uh very soon and liverpool currently top of the premier league table that is a worry that we have but there's also other conversations we still have the links to a, a top striker coming into arsenal as samuel McBell reported yesterday that arsenal want to add a striker two midfielders and a defenders in the ranks for next season that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to make those signings in january but these are these are links that we have uh, at this moment in time we also have an update on timber as timber is making progress to his acl injury but reports that he will not be back until march that is sad to hear but he will not be back until march um, <laughs> I, I seen this. Uh, I just want to talk about it quickly. Combine eleven for the season so far. Let me know what you guys think. Two Arsenal players in the combined eleven sounds about right. Bukario, the fair team from 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 him. Some people asking what happened to Gabriel Martinelli. My question to you guys is: Is Gabriel Martinelli hurting himself with his decision making in the final third at this moment in time? I feel like he is definitely making making some poor decisions in the final third and it's definitely costing the team in the Champions League he seems to be a lot more clinical when there's a lot more space to run in behind and he's getting those passes that he needs into space but in the Premier League he's part of the predictability 
factor that we are recently having. And I feel like he's just not making the same decisions. He's not making the same reads. And when he has the ball at his feet, um, uh, more than not, he's cutting in and he's shooting rather than making the pass and making the defender think about the different options that he can take as a player. Honestly, to me, at this moment in time, I'm questioning if Gabriel Martinelli can get himself going again. And if he if he can't, we need to, I'm not saying sell him. That's ridiculous. I'm just merely saying we need to see what changes we can make to the lineup to get him hungry again. Because subbing him off and bringing him back in as a rotation piece uh, and bringing him back into the side can maybe instill that hunger into him and make him make different decisions because he's becoming way too predictable. Mikel Arteta can just take him out of the side for one game or two, and then he can come back hungry, ready to go. Now, of course, the front three is only as good as the sum of its parts. Now, we are hearing rumors that Arsenal are interested in Delit. I don't think Bayern are going to sell Delit in in the in the uh, at this moment in time. I don't think that is realistic. I don't see Arsenal selling, uh, Arsenal buying Delit this January transfer window. But crazier things have happened. If it becomes if he becomes a possibility, you never know. We could see we could see Delit. Uh, uh, potentially potentially at Arsenal. But in January, I just think that is unlikely to happen in January. I think this is going to be more of a summer move. And if if we were if we were to if we were if the lit became available, believe me, there would be a lot of different clubs seriously interested in him too. So it wouldn't be as simple as just Arsenal being the only club going for Delit. There would be numerous people going for Delit. Um, there is there is uh, an a, an update on the striker situation though. There is a, there is an update on the striker situation. There's numerous strikers that Arsenal are interested in, and I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm talking about with that. There was a report that I seen today uh, coming from a Portuguese outlet that Arsenal are interested in the Nigerian international. Um, let me just put it on my screen as I need to get this. Yeah, let me just put it on my screen. Here we go. This is this is what I was talking about. Arsenal, uh, Leverkusen's Victor Bonafé is linked to Arsenal today. People, let me know what you guys think about Victor Bonafé. Uh, this is what he's done in the Premier League. Uh, this is what he's done in uh, Bundesliga so far this season. He's gotten ten goals, seven assists, four or uh, four goals in in the Europa League, one assist, a total of. 14 goals and eight assists so far this season. He's been killing it for for Leverkusen, and Leverkusen are flying up the Premier League, uh, are flying up the league table in the Bundesliga. I don't think he's going to be sold, so it's going to be very unlikely for Arsenal to get him in the January. But of course, we are linked to him. He is going to Afcon, so it doesn't make sense for Arsenal to go look for another player who's going to Afcon that's going to be away. Uh, in the, in this in this busy period where we're going to need them, so I don't think this deal happens. But it is another it is another uh, link that we are linked to at this moment in time, just to let you guys know some of the things that are going on, and another uh, another one of those names that is just floating about at this moment in time. The likelihood of us making a, a Victor Boniface signing when we could potentially get Victor Osimhen, Ivan Tony, or even Dominic Selenki. I don't think that is going to happen. I think at this moment in time, that is just a rumor that I'm not going to get too behind yet. That's just me. That's just me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Personally, I'm not going to get too behind this rumor. I think some of these rumors are going to be floating about and people are just going to be saying anything and everything. But it is what it is. Don't get too carried away with this rumor. Um, there is There is the rumor of... One second. There is the rumor that... Arsenal could be going for either Dominic Solanke or Ivan Tony. So this is where I want to ask you guys, who would you guys rather have? If you can get Dominic Solanke for like 40, 50 million uh, from Bournemouth, however much you think we can get him for in January, or would you get Ivan Tony and just drop the bank on him? Because he would cost upwards of 100 million. I don't know if we'd spend that type of money on Ivan Tony at this moment in time. So let me know what you guys think about that. Unlikely Arsenal get either at this moment in time. It does look like it's going to be a difficult bit of January for us to try to get deals done. But I'm going to have to, we're going to have to wait and see where things go from there. Um, just to give you guys a quick update on Thomas Partey also. Just to give you guys a quick update on Thomas Partey at this moment in time, rumor has it that Thomas Partey um, is is going to be out of the Afcon and his injury is for real. Uh, Chris Hutton has admitted him from 
from his uh, Ghanaian national team. And the, there's been a setback in his return. Hopes that he makes it back for the AFCON. He was hoping to make it back in time for AFCON for Ghana, but he's not in the team anymore. And his injury is real. Thomas Partey will be missing the entire AFCON for Ghana. And there's no update on when he'll be back for Arsenal at this moment in time. Just goes to show you how serious the issue is with him and his injury. It's 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 peak for Thomas Partey, man. He hasn't been able to get much game time, and he doesn't look like he's going to be returning anytime soon. Um, now, this is the final story, and the final story of the day is a weird one. Of course, you guys already know that Arsenal are looking to bring in a forward, but could it be Victor? Uh, could it be Victor Osimhen? Could it be Ivan Tony? Could it be Dominic Solanke? Friggin' Mbappe? There's no way. It's not. It's not possible. Arsenal can't go and bring in Mbappe. Arsenal have a pipe dream of potentially looking at bringing Kylian Mbappe, but this scenario would need some crazy stuff to happen. Arsenal have been linked to him. He would. He would. He would garner some ridiculous wages, which I don't know the club would pay. He would be a ridiculous transfer fee, which I don't think the club would 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 garner. But his current situation at PSG, he does have a deadline for his exit, and with his deadline getting closer and closer to the potential exit from PSG, you find a situation where a lot of different clubs are are looking at at, at him. I don't think in any way or form that Arsenal are going to be at the top of the list for Kylian Mbappe. He would obviously want to go to Real Madrid first and even then maybe want to go to Barcelona or somebody like Man City before he comes to Arsenal. But if there is a financial way for us to sort this deal out, we'd have to we'd have to at least entertain it, at least entertain the possibility of us trying to get Kylian Mbappe. I don't know. I don't think it's ever going to happen to be 100% real with you guys. But that is the situation at this moment in time. And then the final thing, we know that would be a that would be a summer move. It wouldn't be a January move. But there is one more a summer story. Arsenal of course are looking at strikers, Victor Osimhen, Otar Martinez, Victor Bonafé are, are are names of many. But if we could wait until the summer to get bring in a Victor Osimhen, wouldn't that be the difference maker that would help us? shoot up the table we would have somebody on the level of a erling holland or mo salah who could help us at going forward and that's ideally what i would want to do if we, i know january is the window where we would want to bring in some striker help but maybe that can be a a Solanke. i don't think we're going to spend that type of money on ivan tony and then spend it again on a victor Osimhen. i just don't see that happening but yeah thank you for watching the video guys that was my update on arsenal news today and i'll catch you guys on the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully i'll catch you guys on the next show uh which will be later tonight vibes from the six at 9 30 peace mm -hmm.